Okay, so here Trudy is taking the team on to the away mission, I guess, so to speak. And mm-hmm. uh, yeah, what's going on in the cockpit? Just cool stuff. Yeah, so interesting. First thing we noticed was she's not wearing a helmet or any kind of mask. That's right. Um, so that's weird. Like on one hand, I guess like, I guess com- she's not in combat, but she mm-hmm. is off base in a hostile and, territory. And maybe not hostile territory, but at least a very hostile environment with wildlife that can f*** your sh- up. Yep. So maybe at least a helmet. But then if you're going to have a helmet on, maybe there should be some quick deployable mask. Yeah, even because, if it's like what those fighter pilots have with the mask that like just hooks on. Like mm-hmm. at least it's right there. It's just a quick like slap on. That's right. I'm not seeing a mask anywhere. So if there was a breach, she's in trouble. Right. And then and helmet. Then, helmet is just a good idea all the time. So Yeah. I thought about this in terms of like like if you get shot with a gun or like a really heavy collision on you know on a motorcycle, like a helmet may not be enough. But at the, on the other hand, like for minor stuff, like even if she just bumps her head against the ship and she's like, oh, now she got a headache, like avoid, yeah. just wear a helmet. Right. It's not about completely eliminating all risk. It's about right. reducing outcomes to right. not so bad. Yeah. So, and I guess it's weird. Also, normally they have helicopter pilots have the helmets with the, the communications built in. She's got this thing that's all loosey goosey. Like, what mm. if it, you know, she's doing some maneuver and it flies uh, off? She has headphones that are like meant for passengers. That's right. So that's interesting. It's a very interesting we're, procedures there. Um, yeah, we're, I think we're seeing that the military, the military component of the base is they're not thinking everything through. So it's a little lackadaisical. Mm. Mm. Yeah, weird. Um, I was looking cool at these, though. yeah, looking at these outputs here. Looks looks legitimate. Look at this. Mm. Got actual dials here mm-hmm. for maybe for fuel and different important things. That maybe looks like an altimeter. And it then we like got physical these, buttons. Yeah, physical buttons. And then we got these these screens, which to me mm-hmm. look like fighter pilot screens with these buttons on the side yeah. here. Very cool. Is she Super is. Cool. This looks like a horizon indicator. It looks like she's she's banking, so. looking down a little bit too much there. <laughs> yeah, but but the, that's consistent with where she's flying, right? She's like going down to land onto the oh, the remote true. location. Mm-hmm. It's cool. There's yeah. a bunch Get, of buttons. Getting a bunt a button overload here. My God. Yeah, but you know, she's trained up. I don't know what modern cockpits are like, but I've seen ones from like the '90s, and it's like, yeah, it's like this. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like that. You got you got to know your. For sure. Hmm. And the throttles are up here. That's interesting. So you got to reach up high to get the throttles. It's not down here on the... I don't know what those are because if it's... I guess it's not a helicopter. It's a gyrocopter, something like this. That's right. So, I mean, I would imagine that all of the throttles and stuff needs to be immediately on your hands. Like, it's not like a reach around for it. Like, I don't know what those are. That's right. Even more so than in an aircraft because the thrust can be responsible for your lift as well as your forward motion. So you need like precise and quick control. So the fact this cannot be the throttles then, because then you've got this like delay when you're reaching up to it. You can't just rest your hand on it for minor adjustments. Exactly. Yeah. Must not be the throttles. I don't know. Mm. Cool cockpit though. Super cool. 